Greetings, everyone. Welcome to e e Learning Hub. I'm going to go through and explain the solutions for question two from the 2022 CSEC Electrical and Electronic Pass paper. So let's begin. Part A. It says, list six drawing rules that should be observed when creating a standard block or flow diagram. One, the signal path should go from left to right. Two, blocks should be drawn in one of three shapes, square, rectangular, or triangle. Three, once a shape is chosen for the block diagram, it should be used throughout the diagram. Four, a single line should be used to show the link or train from block to block. Five, arrows should be used to indicate the direction of signal flow. Six, description of the components or stages should be placed within the blocks. So that's it for part A. All right, let's move on to part B. So it says table one shows the components in six typical stages labeled A to F that are found in an electrical generation, transmission, and distribution system. A to F are not listed in the correct order. All right, so here we have table one with the different stages of the electrical generation, transmission, and distribution system. Now, based on the statement that was given, these stages are not listed in their correct order. All right, so let's look at what part one of B is asking for. So it says, using a neatly labeled block diagram, draw and identify the correct order of each given stage of such an electrical system. So here we have the block diagram and the correct stages are also there. All right, so first up, we have the power plant. From the power plant, we have the step up transformer, then the transmission lines, then the step down transformer, then distribution lines, and finally, pole transformer. So this is the block diagram and the correct order in terms of the stages. All right, so that's it for part one of B. Part two now, it says for any three blocks identified in part one of B, briefly describe the primary function of that stage. For the first stage of the power plant. So the power plant is used to generate electricity from primary energy sources at a specified voltage. For the second stage that was selected, transmission lines. So these are conductors that are used to transmit high voltages over long distance to distribute power. And the third stage that was selected is the distribution lines. These are conductors that are connected to a distribution circuit at the distribution station. They're used to carry power from the distribution station to distribute to customers. So that's it for part two of B, and that's it for this question.